morning everybody, how are we all? Welcome back to the vlog. With this tea towel in my hand, I kind of look like I'm about to cook up a storm, don't I? I am not, I just boiled some eggs. I feel like it's been a while, but it hasn't really. It's just that last week, I posted a sit down video. It was my wish list video that lots of you had requested. But I only feel like I'm really connected to you when I vlog, so I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Let me quickly take a few swigs of my kefir yogurt drink. I think I've shown you it before. This is the brand that I drink. You can get it in most supermarkets. I actually got this entire pack from Costco because I did a Costco shop last week. Bloody love that shop. Everything comes in bulk, it's just so fun. But this is actually pasteurized cow's milk. It says fermented with live kefir cultures. It's meant to be good for your gut. I can't say as since drinking this, I feel like a new person, but I do think I do feel a little bit better so, I'm gonna carry on. I also really quite like the taste of it. But as someone who hasn't drank cow's milk for years, I mean, don't get me wrong, I eat cheese and cakes, they have milk in it. But when I have a tea or a coffee or any type of cereal, I always have almond milk. So as someone that hasn't drank cow's milk for years and now I'm drinking fermented cow's milk, seems a little bit crazy, but apparently it's good for you, so I'm giving it a go. Anyway, let's make some breakfast. I saw this trick on TikTok of how to peel an egg and basically you put a teaspoon underneath the skin of it and the shell just lifts off. It's not really going to make lunch of the year, is it? But for some reason today, I'm not overly hungry. I'm sure by dinner I will be starving. But this is what I've got. I was actually going to make it into a salad, but you know what? This will do. By the way, this is Stilton if you're wondering what that is. Mm. That was actually really quite enjoyable considering how boring it actually was. Really quite like that. But it's so windy today, but I want to show you outside because the blossom tree has really changed since we were last here. I mean, since you were last here. Do you know what's so crazy is how warm the wind is though. Look at this sunshine. We're all gonna be so jealous of my gardening shoes that my mum got for me. They are so comfy, I love them. I love the print, look how cute they are. They're actually hilarious, but honestly, they're so handy. She got them from Amazon, if any of you want to pick a pair up. <laughs> actually about to get blown away out here. I can't believe how windy it is. But look, we barely have any blossom left on the tree, like nothing, tiny amounts. But now the tree is turning green. So I feel like this is gonna be the last of the blossom tree updates because as you can see, there is no longer really any blossom. You might be able to see over here as well that Reese bought a lawnmower and he did attempt to start cutting the lawn and then it rained. So we got as far as this area of the garden and the rest of it and beyond still looks like a jungle. Honestly, you can't believe how much the grass has grown in such a short amount of time. I also got my patio set. Actually, that is a lie. My mum got my patio set out of the garage. This was on my balcony at my apartment. I actually got this for my first birthday I had in my apartment. But my mum got it out of the garage when she came up a couple of weeks ago and put it outside. So this will do for now, just out here. But eventually I have really big plans for the garden. I have big plans for everywhere. But I really want to make a really lovely kind of like seating area out here. I want a barbecue area. I do actually really like this resin floor that's here right now. I actually mentioned this on my vlog. By the way, this looks so weird, doesn't it? I thought it was a dead bird, but actually it's, I think it's a dog toy. or Maybe it's a children's toy. We found it in the grass <laughs> and it's obviously from the last owners. Anyway, I love this. It's resin. It's so, so lovely. But something I don't like about it is how uneven the whole path is. Like it's all just a bit of a weird shape and it's not quite big enough. Well, it is obviously, you can see you can get a patio set in there, but it would be nice to make it a little bit bigger and have it as like a proper seating area. But I have done a little bit of research and I think the only way I can possibly do that is if it all gets dug up and then you can kind of like do it again. I don't think you can extend it. Or I mean, I have been told you can extend it, but then you'll really notice it's been extended, if that makes sense. It won't be identical colors and you'll be able to see it slightly different, which is really annoying because it's actually a really lovely floor. I mean, I'm not saying I'll definitely take it up, but if we do the plans we'd like to do with the garden, I feel like it's gonna have to be changed. But for now, it's great. So I do really want to get a patio set. I have seen some really gorgeous um, sofa sets on Very, but they're not actually due in stock until May. 
kind of annoying but to be honest we're like halfway through april already so it will soon be may but i feel like i might pre-order one of those because i feel like they'd look lovely out here and hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna have a good summer let's pray for that i do actually have a couple of home updates up here for you all i mean don't get me wrong don't get excited nothing crazy has happened because I did tell you all I wasn't going to buy any furniture until the work was going to be done on this house, didn't I? I did say that. But basically, I mentioned in a previous vlog the work is going to take a little bit longer than I originally expected. And my nan, sorry about the background noise by the way guys, it's really windy. And the trees are kind of going crazy. But as I was saying, my nan really, really, really wants to come and stay. And I really want her to come and stay. So I want to get the house in a position that my family come and stay for a few nights also my friends are coming to stay for my birthday which i'm very excited about so i needed to buy some beds quickly going to be honest this one was a really quick delivery and that's what sort of swayed me can't say i love it it's okay but it's not really my favorite in the other spare room the bed hasn't arrived yet but i did spend a little bit more money on that so fingers crossed when it arrives i will like it a little bit more than this so here is the stunning Bed. beautiful i know right so basically i got this from next it is actually really lovely like the material is very nice it's beige but it kind of looks a bit gray because the carpet is currently gray in here so it's kind of giving gray tones but i wanted it to give beige but anyway it's fine you know i feel like once there's a mattress on it it will look so much better i have actually bought two side tables which are meant to be arriving today they are a similar wood to this plinth i just used this plinth to kind of measure it out i did also measure it with a tape measure so do not panic but i just wanted to see how much space i had so i've got two side tables i want to go to denelm today to go and buy some lamps so we're going to do that together I also need to get some bedding, the mattress arrives tomorrow, and we're just going to make this room look a little bit better. Truthfully, when everything gets done, I think I'm going to have the whole house panelled, although I haven't actually quite made that decision for sure yet, I think I will. So, you know, things will look different, and I might actually, instead of getting side table lamps, I might eventually get wall lamps, but, you know, for now, I'm kind of liking this vibe. And in this room, not a lot has changed, nothing has changed, in fact, and nothing's going to change for a while. I would love to get rid of the glass in these wardrobes because the reflection on the window kind of drives me insane and then you can see like the mess that's everywhere and it's really irritating do you not feel like my outfit today is very much given spring i feel like a blue jean with a white shirt is like a fail safe spring look and i love how it looks with this tan belt i do wish i had my celine ava bag here because i feel like it would go perfect with this outfit and i love how it matches my belt but truthfully i don't have a lot of my handbags with me anymore at all times. So I'm gonna have this problem a lot when I'm not organized. So I'm just gonna kind of make do with this bag, which actually does look really nice with it, you know? The shirt is so gorgeous, it's actually new. Look, it's got like a little pearl detail here on the cuff. Can you see it just there? How pretty is that? I also really love the neckline on it, you know, like unlike a normal shirt where the buttons go all the way up and then it kind of is hard to make it sit in a V-neck. This is actually designed to be a v-neck and i just think it's really flattering it's actually from lily silk you guys will know i have a fair few pieces in my wardrobe from them i love the quality of the things that they do and i'm actually working with them on this part of the video so i'm going to show you some other bits that i picked up but yeah this is the first thing and actually what i'm wearing today is this silk shirt a good quality white shirt is always such a staple in my spring summer wardrobe it's something that's never going to date and if you get a good quality one you will have it for literally years and it also comes in beige as well annoyingly i didn't pick up the beige one but i would very much like to get it it actually has these kind of detachable bits i've taken them off but let me show you they look like this so it's got a pearl detail on it and then a feather as well and there's a little hidden part underneath the collar which is very smart i have to say so it's super discreet but you can just attach it to here and i feel like this then turns this shirt into more of a beach vibe so i think this would look really cute on a holiday i love the fact you can also remove it and it kind of gives a really different vibe this way and you already know how much i'm going to love this because if you know me already, you already know how much I'm obsessed with anything with these gold button details. I just feel like they elevate every item of clothing. How gorgeous is this little lightweight cardigan? Once again, it feels incredible quality. It's 100% wool and these little cardies are so perfect. 
that is my side tables. I swear this happens in every try on haul. Right, I'm gonna be back. Tables arrive, let's pray they look okay. But as I was saying, just such a perfect little cardi for spring. And I also want to show you how nice it looks if you kind of tuck it in as well, because it's quite a lightweight material. You don't have to just wear it as a cardigan, you can almost wear it as a top as well. Sorry guys, I'm so out of breath from running out to go and get that delivery. Whew! The stripes are another really great classic thing to have in your wardrobe. They come back year after year. They're a trend that never dates. In fact, you can't even call stripes a trend at this point. They are just an absolute classic. And I just love this whole look. The stripes themselves are actually navy, which I think looks so gorgeous, paired against the tan, then the light colour denim, but you could wear this so many different ways. And the great thing is with it as well, is of course you can unbutton it, and you could wear it with a vest top or a white t-shirt underneath as well. Honestly, it's such a gorgeous little cardigan, and I also picked it up in navy. The buttons on this are slightly different to the buttons on this though. Look, let me just show you again. These have a different kind of detailing on to this one. Both really, really lovely, but I do actually like the fact they're a little bit different. For size reference, I am wearing both of these cardigans in a size large. I do think, truthfully, I could have gone down to at least a medium, maybe even a small. I do prefer things to be oversized. I've said this for years, but these are definitely got like a little bit of room in them. So I think just get your regular size. That would be my advice in terms of sizing. Once again, the quality of this material is stunning. And I'm someone that loves to wear black. You guys know I live in an all black outfit. It's my comfort, it's my thing. But I feel like in the summer, don't get me wrong, you'll still catch me in an all black outfit. I feel like navy, is a really good summer alternative to black. And I find it goes so nicely with kind of blue denims, it looks lovely against white. And once again, with the tan bag and the tan belt, I think this looks so, so nice. I'm actually gonna go and put a white t-shirt on and show you how this looks open as well. So here the cardigan is undone with a little t-shirt underneath. Such a simple, simple outfit, yet it's so comfortable and just feels so good on. And the great thing about it is as hopefully the weather gets a little bit warmer, you can take this off and just put it really nicely around your shoulders. So you're gonna take this label out. These jackets also come with spare buttons, by the way. So if you do lose one, there are spares on each label. Cardigans like this are just so perfect. If you do get a little bit warm, just to pop round your shoulders like so. And there we have almost an entirely different look that will keep you a little bit cooler. And then as the sun goes down and you get cold again, you can put your cardigan back on. I said this not long ago, but I really struggle to find trousers I feel comfortable in. I find tops, I find jackets, but trousers are a real hard thing for me to get right. But these honestly are incredible. They've got an elasticated back to them, you know, like the waistline at the back is elasticated. And I feel like that's what's making them feel so comfortable on me. They're also made out of mulberry silk. And so they are incredibly soft. They're just a really, really beautiful white trouser. And how nice do they look with this cashmere top? By the way, both things are from Lily Silk. I live in t-shirts, you guys already know that because in 90% of my vlogs, I am in a t-shirt. So I already know how much wear I'm going to get out of this little t-shirt. I feel like it looks totally fab against these white trousers as well. By the way, these trousers are double lined, so they're not see-through. I've tried on so many pairs of white trousers over the years, and you can just see everything going on underneath. But the material of these are a little bit thicker, but at the same time, very lightweight and sort of flowy and easy to wear. The only thing is with these is they're a little bit too long for me. I am only five foot three for reference though. So I do need to take them up, but I will definitely be taking them up because I'm going to wear these so, so much this summer. I just think they look so, so classy. I also knew I'd love these t-shirts so much. I had to get one in black because I just know I'm gonna wear this all of the time. So this is my Hermes Kelly belt in black. You guys have probably already realized that I have this belt in like three different colors just because Honestly, it's a belt that goes with everything and looks great with everything as well. So yeah, I bought it in three colors, which is kind of a little bit over the top, I know, but I don't regret it at all. But here's the trousers on with now the black cashmere t-shirt and black accessories. This is such a simple outfit. I feel like it's really effective at the same time. And all of these outfits, I know I've said it, but I need to say it again. They are so, so comfy. And I'm someone that loves 
to be comfortable. Also just wanted to quickly show you how lovely these white trousers look with the navy cardigan. I knew this would look really nice together so I just wanted to try it on for myself. As I put it on I thought I need to show you guys this because once again so easy just to chuck these on together but they look absolutely great. This last outfit might just be my favourite one. Guys, this is so blooming cute. I feel like this outfit is given south of France, okay? That's the vibes I'm getting from this. So it's actually a co ord set. It's a top and a pair of shorts which go together, but of course the great thing is with co ords is you can wear them as separates as well. So it's this really gorgeous sort of off-white ivory colour. You'll also notice that it has got these gold sort of button details both on the top here, on the shoulders, and you've got three buttons here either side of the shorts. It's such a simple little outfit, yet I think it looks stunning. You could also tuck the top in if you wanted to, like so, so it looks like this, or just wear it untucked. I actually think I prefer it untucked. I think untucked it looks sort of really effortless. And I know I've said it about every outfit but I just feel like it looks so chic. Then just popped on my gold Celine sunglasses which I actually lost and then found them again and I'm so happy about it. I thought they were a goner but I actually found them in a handbag earlier on this week and they're just a great sunglass. They go with everything and I love the fact that these are gold so they pick up on the gold accents on the outfit. You will without a doubt be seeing me in this outfit over the summer months. I actually can't wait to wear it. I do actually have a discount code for Lily Silk, which is Freya20, or get you 20% off. I'm gonna leave all of the information over here. If you haven't shot with them before, honestly, use this 20% off code as your excuse. You will not be disappointed. The quality of their pieces are just so, so good. I know I've said it over and over again, but I feel like in today's day and age, we're definitely quite used to clothes that aren't always so well made. Also quite often, the best fabrics aren't really being used. But with the Lily Silk, it's completely the opposite to that. The materials are gorgeous. The quality is just stunning. And I honestly just couldn't recommend them highly enough. Guys, I can't get over how nice this outfit is. Anyway, I'm now gonna get out of this outfit because I don't wanna ruin it. Because we need to unbox those side tables. And then we also need to go to Danil. very small. I was just thinking about the fact that today is the first day since I moved in here that I haven't put the heating on, which is crazy. Every day I've cranked that heating right up because it's just been cold. But today it's lovely and warm. Okay, let's attach the legs. I want to show you what I'm doing. So you see there's holes here for the legs, but then each leg has a colour on it and an arrow and then there's a colour and an arrow on here. So honestly, this is like furniture assembly for dummies, which is brilliant because honestly, me and instructions just don't go together. Okay, well, it's standing. I'm sorry, how cute is this as a side table? Basically, the gap between the bed and the wall is really quite small, so I was quite limited with what side tables I could get. But I found these on Etsy. They've been delivered within what is all this? I have no idea, but they were delivered within, I want to say, maybe two or three days. I ordered them about two nights ago. And they feel great. Now let's see if they fit. Pray for me. A perfect fit. Oh, it looks so cute. Now I'm not saying they are the fanciest things ever, but I'm so glad that they fit. Like, they're so cute. Look at that one over there. I feel like once this is all dressed, right, I've got some nice lamps over here. We've got the bed linen on and it's all just really put together. I actually think this is going to look kind of quite nice, actually. I feel like it's coming together quite nicely. I mean, I literally have a bed and two side tables and I'm saying that, but you know, I can see the vision. The vision is visioning. I did actually get these bits from H&M Home, which are some linen cushion covers, but I don't really like any of them. Um, I mean, to be fair, I don't really mind these as such, but they don't fit the cushions I've got. And then I bought some white ones, and what I don't like about them is the fact that you can see the cushion through the white linen. They just look a little bit cheap, and they weren't really that cheap, so I'm going to send those back. Anyway, let's go and buy some lamps, and let's also get some bed linen. Reese has got his lawnmower out. <laughs> Lovely gardening shoes. <laughs> Not the old slippers. There's another plant outside that I really wanted to show you as well. This is growing up the side of the house 
and the old owners obviously were trying to train it to go sort of along the house here as you can see and my mum took a picture of it and put it into her plant app and told me what it is and now I can't remember what it's going to be but these are the buds can you see oh here's another example of what it is we thought it was wisteria it's not it's apparently something else but it's meant to blossom really beautifully and so this is the next thing I'm excited about at this point I am Danelm's best customer here I am back in the bedding section this week because I need to get some of this stuff I was gonna get white company I love white company but it's a bit pricey so for the guest rooms I'm gonna get this Dorma everyone said it's really good on my homepage stories so I'm gonna get two sets of this I'm gonna get white company for my own bed sheets I have to say this peacock ornament whatever it is is very interesting isn't it I'd have loved that when I was younger a little bit of bling on there this is very cute I got my bed sheets song reminds me of being a kid I don't impress me much. A little bit of Shania Twain for you all there. Is all of the stuff that I'm buying so far. Lots of pillows. Lots of pillows. <laughs> Need some bedside table lamps for one of the spare bedrooms. I cannot make my mind up what I want. I feel like there's just too much choice everywhere. Like, I do kind of like this, but I don't really know if I love this fabric anymore. This. Is this nice or is this not nice? And there's this kind of like it but I kind of prefer a bit of a textured or linen lampshade. I saw these online and I did actually quite like them. Look at the base, that was quite cute. And I really like this lampshade but I think it's going to be too big for the space. Okay, I've whittled it down to these three. I know they're very different in height but I feel like unless I bought them all I don't know which is going to look better in the space. I'm now in B&Q. Should I get some more flowers for the garden? <laughs> no, I do not need that. Oh, I've walked down a dead end. Um, I'm looking for, well, potentially two plants for the front door. But I'm also looking for a pot for a faux olive tree that I bought. I haven't shown you that yet. And I also need a strimmer. This is the kind of plant I want for outside the front door. Like one like this. Maybe that's a little bit like of a Christmas tree. Oh, this one's fallen over. Shall I sign it back up? Oh, come on, Mr. Tree. It's a little bit windy, that's why. Look at this one. This one's incredible. I love these. You know like where they all like get trimmed and they're like big balls. They look so cool. Next up, getting this absolute beauty for the garden. And I'm also getting an extension lead. And I'm now in Waitrose, just getting some bits and pieces. For the weekend because there is no food in the fridge i think tonight i'm going to do salmon with sweet potato spinach and broccoli it is the next day i'm about to eat this salad that i just cooked do you cook a salad probably not but this is me cooking i don't know if you can see but i boiled some eggs we've got avocado lettuce pumpkin seeds beetroot tomato feta and then i kind of ruined it all by putting salad cream all over the top i didn't put too much okay i didn't go too crazy but i don't have any salad dressing here and I also don't have anything to make salad dressing with. Like, I can make a balsamic with honey or grain mustard, but I don't have any of those items, so was unable to make it. So I kind of made a really healthy salad unhealthy by putting all this sauce all over it, but I couldn't eat it without, so this is what we're doing. Thought I could show you everything I got from Danelm yesterday. I did end up buying a set of lights. Well, actually, no, I bought one lamp because the other one wasn't in stock. Don't really like it. But the mattress arrived today. I don't know if you can see it down here. I have all the bed linen. We can kind of start putting this room together a little bit. But first, I'm going to eat my salad. Okay, here is everything that I got from the shops. So, I got two packs of pillows. You can't even really see me, can you? I mean, you don't need to see my face in this part. I got two packs of pillows. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I actually got four packs of these pillows because two for this room, two for the other room. Then I got this beautiful new wash basket, which is going to go in one of the ensuite bathrooms. And I also picked up some new towels. I got some other towels from Danelle last time I was there, but I decided after using them, they were so much nicer than the gross towels I currently have that it was time to just get rid of the old and get some new. So I went and got a few more sets. So some like big towels and also hair towels as well and then i got two sets of the same bed linen 
for each room. The two double fitted sheets, one for here, one for the other room. Oh, for God's sake. I honestly drive myself insane. This is a double flat sheet and not a double quilt. So that's gonna have to get taken back. At least I hadn't opened it. That's a bonus at least. At least I checked it, you know. But I actually went for the Dorma Smooth and Soft 300 Thread Count Cotton Satin Sheets. I said this already to you guys, but I was going to get White Company, but to be honest, it's a lot of money. You know, this isn't cheap either, but it's more affordable than White Company. And as these beds, of course, they're going to get slept in, but nowhere near as often as my own bed. I'm sorry to my guests, but basically they're getting to nil. <laughs> but I did actually put it on my homepage and everyone said it's really good, so... It's fine. This room honestly stinks of egg because of that salad I just ate. But this is the lamp I went for. And you know what I mean? I just don't think it goes with the table at all. And the tables are going to stay because they fit the space perfectly. And I can't be bothered to change them. The lamp, it's nice, but I don't love it. I also don't love the fact that you can see the gold inside. I did last night order a lamp, well, two lamps from h&m home but i've now like started thinking about it a bit more and i think maybe instead of getting side table lamps i should just you know put some flowers and bits and pieces on the side tables and instead get some wall lamps i'm gonna insert a photo of laura someone i follow on instagram and i also have met her many times in real life she's so lovely and her home is beautiful and she has well you've probably seen the photo now she has these little lamps from Amazon and they just look really good. And obviously the space around her bed is a lot more than I've got going on here. But I feel like they could look quite good. Tell me what you guys are thinking because I kind of need your help on this one. I also forgot to show you that I got this little basket which is for all of my makeup. In, at the moment in my um, bathroom my makeup is just everywhere and it's just kind of stressing me out. Just because it's meant to all be on a stand but then I use it and I just kind of leave it and it's just... Like, it's not realistic for it always to be perfectly on this stand. So I just thought, if I got this, I can just chuck all of my makeup into it. I also picked up these faux flowers. Don't ask me why. I don't even know myself, to be honest. I must have just thought they looked nice. They do look quite realistic, though, I have to say. Um, but maybe I could put them, like, in a vase or something in here. I honestly underestimated how much it was going to be to sort of pick furniture for rooms. Honestly, I've done two bedrooms. Like, and I haven't even picked things like wardrobes because they're all built in. But it's honestly so hard making decisions. Like even if you think you have an eye for it, it's still hard. I feel like for the rest of the house, there is no doubt I'm gonna try and get some help of an interior designer. Um, and I think doing these two rooms has really made me realize I will need that help from someone because I struggle so much to make decisions. You know, what I'm gonna have for dinner, let alone what bathroom suite I'm gonna put in. You know, I feel like there's such big decisions. And even though I think I have an eye for it, when I put things together, I'm like, well, that doesn't look great. So if any of you out there have ever used an interior designer yourself and can recommend anyone, please, let me know because I am definitely looking for someone. Let's get this mattress out of the box. I have to say this actually isn't from the usual brands I get, well I have my last few mattresses from, which is usually Emma, but their delivery wasn't all that quick. And this was next day, so that's why this one. Hopefully it's gonna be nice. <laughs> ah! Oh, I just bent my nail right back. Shit. Luckily, it hasn't come off. Oh, ay, 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 ay. They give you these little cutter things with these mattresses. A little bit like this, you don't slice the mattress. And it's easy to get the vacuum off. Oh, don't tell me it's the wrong way round. It's the wrong way fucking round, no. Ay, 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 ay. I'm starting to think this doesn't fit. Surely it does. Oh, 
let's put it this way, the vision is not visioning, is it really? Let's just be honest. This looks absolutely terrible. Terrible, in fact. I feel like the headboard could do with being a bit bigger. I haven't even put the second pillows on yet. This all needs steaming. I feel like if it was steamed, it would look a bit better. Can I just say, if any of you are after a steamer, which honestly, if you don't have one, you should get one because they are life-changing devices. I hate ironing. I don't even own an ironing board or an iron, never have. My mum has, obviously, but since I moved out, I never got one. But steamers, steam your clothes. Okay, not as well as irons might iron your clothes, don't get me wrong, but I'm not good at ironing. And this is an incredible thing that I couldn't live without. It's so quick, so easy to use. Also a very space saving because obviously an ironing board and an iron takes up a lot of room, but this is just quite compact and it just works really well. I don't know why people have irons. I mean, I do if you wear things like proper shirts. Like what I mean is if you want to iron a shirt properly, you need a proper iron for that. And also like suit trousers, There's certain things that nothing can iron like an iron, but for the rest of it, this is blooming great. Well, I've just arrived at the shops for the hundred millionth time. I feel like I may as well move in here, if I'm quite honest with you. I kind of cannot be bothered to get out of the car. I feel like I've had like a down five minutes. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry, my armpit's a little bit hairy. I think I actually showed them yesterday. They should be fine. Right, back in Danelle. And I don't know why this is so confusing. This is all the stuff I'm bringing back. This is all of the stuff I'm now buying. Honestly, it's so difficult to know what is what. <laughs> also, how nice is this? It's kind of like... Faux, is it lavender? I think it's meant to be. And the eucalyptus. This looks a bit fake though, to be honest. Any of you remember this song? Out the wall, think you'll miss no at all. Anyway, I'm getting some cushions to fit the covers that I have because I got some cushions that don't fit because everything else I bought is wrong, you know how it's going. Good morning from a very tired me. I've just arrived in London. I, well, I say I've just arrived. I've actually been sat in my car for 40 minutes because I have never driven into London since moving when I need to be somewhere at a particular time. So I allowed myself 40 minutes extra just in case there was any traffic. It's Sunday, there was no one on the roads and I got here within like 35 minutes. So I am so early. I've got something going on with my eyes at the moment where my mascara just constantly prints underneath my eyes. Like my eyes seem to be watering. I don't know if it's hay fever, but it honestly doesn't look too great, I can't lie. Anyway, I have so much running around to do this morning. And I'm also meeting Isabella now just to take some content. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the sun stays out. It is quite nice right now. So, you know, hopefully we get some nice bits. And then, yeah, I just feel slightly overwhelmed. My to-do list is as long as my arm. These next few weeks are so busy. Lots of it is just nice stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's fun as well. But I have a lot of work on. I have a lot to get organised. And, you know, like, everything just feels like a lot. So I was, actually was up till 2am last night, alarm went off at 6, lovely, but um, I just wrote out everything I need to do. I've said this to you before, but I'm someone that loves to write to-do lists so I can kind of see everything in front of me and I can tick it off as I go along. So I did it on my notes app, I have everything that I need to do and I've like planned each day all the way through to Friday. So I'm going to try and be an organised queen, okay, it's going to happen. Um, the shops here don't actually open till 12, so it's currently 10am, so hopefully going to shoot for a couple of hours and then go to the shops and pick up all of the bits that I need to get. By the way, I curled my hair today with the smaller barrel on the Dyson because I found I've been using the bigger barrel but my curls aren't lasting, so I've reverted back to the smaller one but now it's kind of looking like I've had a perm. Nothing wrong with perms by the way, but like it wasn't really the look I was going for. Anyway, let's take a stroll outside really impressed with myself that I managed to get into this space. I don't know how I'm going to get out of it, <laughs> but I'm impressed I got in it, to be honest. We have been so lucky with the weather this weekend. It has been blooming lovely. It wasn't forecast. Every day it says it's going to be cloudy, but then it's sunny. It's really strange. I think it's because there's like a light layer of cloud over the sun, but it's so nice and it's warmed up loads as well. Do you know something that's great, right, about London on a Sunday? is the fact that early it's very quiet because the shops don't open till 12 but also parking pretty much everywhere is free I showed you this the other day but this is a new h&m store which used to be and other stories it's a really lovely shop that like really old-fashioned kind of looking look at beautiful london in the sun got soho home over there the big red bus how london 
This is my old stomping ground. I used to walk here pretty much every single day. Such a nice area. And it's very quiet this morning, even though there's people around. It's usually so busy down here. This is the Saatchi Gallery. So pretty and quiet. Um, I'm actually going to shoot around here. I'm just waiting for Isabella. We're probably gonna get a coffee and things in this restaurant just here, which is Vardo. I'm on outfit number. I've honestly lost count. And look, I have my new ballet flats on. Oh, sorry, you can't even see them. Oh, there's a nice fag butt. <laughs> Lovely. Look how beautiful this car is, guys in a really gorgeous sage green. How stunning is that? Shoot is done. I'm now off to Peter Jones, which is John Lewis, to go and get some champagne glasses. I checked online and they supposedly have them in stock. So, let's see. When you come in this entrance, it always feels like it's really quiet in here. But then as you come down here, it gets a little bit busier. Ooh, bed linen. This one looks really nice. I wonder if they've got any nice throws for the end of the bed in the spare room. Oh, this is nice. This could work really well, you know. I've got loads of nice ones. I love this striped one as well. Is this a barbecue? The big green egg. Anyone have any ideas? I'm guessing it's a barbecue. It's in the barbecue section. Talking of barbecues. I really need to get one. Oh, these are pizza ovens. Cute. This furniture set for outdoors is lovely. Love this. Very, very, very nice. I actually think I've seen this online. Very have something really similar though. I know you were all probably thinking this is such a random thing for me to love, but I'm just obsessed with these plates. I think they are so cute. Look at this. They got a little serving board and then the serving bowl. Look at this orange jug. No, I love it. I just think it's so fun. It's so great if you're having a garden party. I am now off to Neptune. I hope it's open. I wonder if it is. No, it must be. Everywhere's open on a Sunday usually, isn't it? It's only bank holidays, things aren't. Yeah, should be. I've always loved this shop. I always used to go to the one in Canterbury when I used to live there. Um, not live there, but like near there, you know? And my mum loves it too. Um, but yeah, it's so gorgeous. They do really lovely faux flowers though, and that's what I'm here for. I want to get a stem of faux flowers for the guest bedroom. I was actually thinking maybe this, look, it's faux magnolia. I saw it online, thought it was really nice. So I might get that. And I also want to get a little vase for it to go in. Maybe this could actually work. So I feel like whatever it needs to be, it needs to be quite tall. Okay, this is option number one with the vase. I'm a bit afraid it's very tall. So maybe I should get two options. Here's what I got from Neptune. You can't really see. I'll show you when um, I get home. I actually ended up getting two vases and two sets of flowers. Went all out. I am now quickly back in Chelsea, where I used to live, because you guessed it, I have some parcels to pick up from Concierge. Should we do a really quick unboxing as I've just picked up my parcels? I don't actually have all that many, but the first one is pretty powerful collection from bobby brown in collaboration with kitri i think i'm saying that right how cute is this little bag that'd be so handy for traveling and inside is lots of bobby brown's iconic things like the vitamin rich skin base and this here i think it's a gloss it looks great i feel like this could be i haven't even unwrapped it yet but i feel like it could be Joe Malone. I was so right. I can just tell with Joe Malone's packaging. It's always 10 out of 10. And this is two different colognes. One is Musk Memento, and the other one is Emerald and Thyme cologne. Shall I try them? Oh, wow. Do you know what? That is unreal. That's the emerald and thyme. That smells amazing. That'd be so nice for summer. I'll try this other one. I don't usually love musky scents, if I'm honest. Do you know what? That's actually really lovely as well. It almost smells like clean linen. You know, like a really, really fresh, clean scent. There is musk in it, but it's not heavy at all. It's just like an undertone. Joe Malone always do such beautiful scents. And the packaging is always 10 out of 10 as well, you know, like I'm such a sucker for good packaging like this is gorgeous. I'm home. I've just had a bite to eat 
and I don't want to look at you yet because I want you to see my mascara because I'm having a problem at the moment where every single time I do my makeup it ends up looking like this what is going on sorry okay we are back in the spare bedroom which is still not looking exactly how I envisioned it but we're getting there these cushions here are just the inserts there's no cushion covers on them so please ignore that i went to zara home and i got these two cushion covers which i actually think are really lovely i saw them online and then i did actually see them in store again the other day and i thought they were cute look let me show you up close they're very textured but they're soft so hopefully i'm hoping these will fit in here yeah they should do surely it will it has to I can't go to Danelle one more time this week. Do you know what? That is a gorgeous cushion. That is probably the best thing I've bought in the last week. I've bought so much shit in the last week, I can't even tell you. It's really nice that, I'm really happy with that. It's actually looking so much better already, guys. I can see the vision coming together, finally. Then what I got from John Lewis was, well I did show you this, but it's a, um, oh, just chucked it on the floor. It's a throw or a bedspread, whatever you'd like to call it. I don't know how big this is though. It seems like it's gonna be quite large, I have to say. 250 centimeters. That is big. Maybe it's for like a king size bed. Oh no. This will be the next thing now. It's too long. I'm over it. I'm just gonna make it work. Oh no, it's all right actually. No, no, we're actually okay. I think we're okay. This could do with a steam as well actually. Something else I got from John Lewis for these champagne glasses because my lovely Auntie Julie and Auntie Debbie, they both got me John Lewis vouchers for when I bought my house. Something I'm lacking in are champagne glasses and funny enough, both my aunties love to drink champagne. So when they come, they can have champagne out of the glasses that they bought me. I actually got six all together and these are the Anton Studio Designs London. As I say, they're from John Lewis and they look like this they're really pretty look the glass is kind of ribbed this brown bit obviously is just covering the stem but um yeah cheers what i got from neptune i'm so happy they gave me this big bag fantastic love that but i actually ended up getting two lots of flowers these are faux flowers but i love that they wrap them like they're real flowers um so I believe this set are called the Snowdrops, which are like this. And I got two white sets and also got a green one as well. And I got a really large eucalyptus. I don't know what's going to look better in here. So that's why I got both. And I figured whatever doesn't look good can go in the other guest bedroom, which you're probably wondering what's going on with that. Nothing at the moment, but a bed is being delivered in the next week. And that room will be well on the way as well. I also got this vase, which I have the bigger version of this downstairs, had it in my apartment. I actually think I nicked it from my mum. I think my mum had this vase, to be honest, and I thought, oh, that looked nice in my flat, and I just think I stole it. But I got the baby version, and I do think they'll look nice next to each other. But this might look nice on this side table. Let's have a look, because I think I've decided, even though they've not turned up yet, I think I've decided I'm going to do the wall lights. Did I show you them yesterday? I think I did. They're from Amazon. They should have arrived today, actually. But I think this room needs wall lamps. So for the side tables, or for one side table, I'm just going to do a vase. So I don't know which one is going to look better. Let me show you them both again. So you've got this one or this one. They're both very nice, and I feel like they'll definitely get used in other places in the house. Right, let me see what that looks like. I think that one looks better, you know. Let's try the flowers. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? I'll pan you around in a minute. Look how long it is. It's very long. Oh, I think it looks kind of nice. Oh, guys. That looks so much better. I feel like once the wall lamps are in. Oh my, it's so crazy how when you dress a space, it just looks so much better. It's not finished, okay? It's really not finished, but... We get some there. I feel like it looks terrible on camera. Why does it look so bad on camera? In real life, it looks really nice. I hope on camera it looks okay. So, is this all too much? Is, is this a bit over the top? Is it a bit heavy? I'm unsure. But 
this is the situation the bed looks so much better now it's dressed i wish you could see everything properly but it's quite hard for you to see because like i can't move back far enough unless i get inside the cupboard and um, which by the way i haven't even shown you i don't think this side of this bedroom but look in here there's all these built-in wardrobes which are actually empty at the moment um but yeah it's good that they have extra space eventually i'd like to turn these into um you know those kind of like aged mirrors like that kind of wardrobe as i say this room is eventually going to get painted and panelled and all the rest of it I'll actually back in here because i want to show you something else but i'm looking at this pillow and looking how bad it looks you see how it's too big but i'm actually also thinking that this bolster pillow is too big for the bed I think I should get rid of this and get something smaller because I just I just think it looks a bit too much. I also really need to get some form of lampshade for this because it really isn't giving right now, you know? I've just taken all my makeup off, so jump scare for that. I'm actually about to film a campaign, but the door just went and my Amazon parcels arrived. And I think one of them is the lamps. The other ones, I can't actually remember what they are. Oh! Uh, I know what these are. These are freeze-dried daisy flowers, which are edible. Oh my God, they're so cute. There's not very many in there, I have to say. They're like 10 pounds. As I already mentioned, some of my friends are coming around and we are actually going out, but I also wanted to do like a little brunch in the morning. And I have ideas for the flowers. I actually can't get over how tiny they are. It's kind of ridiculous actually. Like this was a lot of money for just some very small flowers. And this one must be the lamps. So we have two lampshades. I can't say I love the lampshades. I think they look a little bit cheap. I wish they were linen, but maybe I could replace them. So these lamps are actually remote control, but they come with these little controllers. So you don't have to wire them into the wall, which I think is actually really smart because obviously wiring stuff and whatever is very time consuming, makes a lot of mess and you need a skilled person even though both my dad and brother are electricians. My brother's in Australia though, so he can't really help, but my dad could. But yeah, it's still a lot of ag. Like, please tell me where you even start with this. I have no idea, but do you know what? I already think they're gonna look quite good. I can see the vision. As I said, not loving these overly, but they're fine, you know? Eventually, maybe I could change them. But I feel like up on the walls, these are actually gonna look really nice. Hi guys, I look terrible, I know. I feel extremely stressed. And I just realised I haven't finished this vlog. I've just finished, like, uploading it, editing it, whatever I mean. But I didn't actually say goodbye. I just want to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll hopefully see you in my next one. And, yeah, I have a lot going on. And I love you and I have to go. Love you, bye.